Hi, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. today because yesterday I wasn't feeling well but today I'm feeling much better and I thought to myself you know what I need to perform today because I don't know what I'm gonna feel like tomorrow and I don't know what I'm gonna feel like on Sunday which is always the next performance day after Thursday or Wednesday so if I'm feeling like I'm up to it, I got to do it. And on top of that, I don't know if you guys noticed, so if you want to rewatch the video halfway through, 
I got this move called the dove. So the dove, I'm gonna show you really quick. This move, I'm really wanting to get because it's a great way to go from that move to a shoulder mount. So the shoulder mount, let's see if I can get it yet. Oh, can you believe it? So that's a really sloppy, ugly shoulder mount, guys. It really is. But I'm back able to get Adele, put your booby back. <laughs> put your titty back, Adele. So basically, uh, I am getting the shoulder mount. Not nicely, but I'm getting it. So what I want to do and what I'm working towards is a Superman to a move they call the Dove. Now, not yesterday, but the day before I was practicing <coughs> and I actually was able to achieve the Dove without any assistance. In this video, I had to do some extra maneuvering to achieve the Dove but I'm going to show you the dove, okay? And then I'm going to show you how I want to go in from the dove to a shoulder mount. It's something I really want to do. It's going to make me next level. <laughs> okay, so we want to get into a leg hang and we want to get in to the Superman. And then from here, we want to, we want to, see, this is where I'm having trouble. We want to get like this. We want this hand to come here, that hand to come here, and then from here we want to do a shoulder mount. So, I think the reason I was able to achieve the dove without all this extra assistance was because I had my uh, eight inch heels on, and my eight inch heels had pulled my feet when I was in the Superman. So I'm in the Superman, right? Just pretend my other leg's up. My eight inch heels actually pull me further back and they pull my feet down because they're heavy. And because of that, I am able to, you know, achieve the dove. But when I'm barefoot, my feet are less heavy. So I have to get my own feet to go down and I have to be able to pull my body and it's just a little bit more challenging but I think I did a pretty good job at it. And you guys can see where I'm going with it. And I also tried to add in a Russian butterfly near the end. And I know, I don't, I'm scared to even go back and watch this video to see how sloppy this dance came out. Excuse me, so unprofessional. The unprofessional DIY dancer at your service. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I love y'all so much. You don't even know how much because I truly, I truly love y'all so much. And I hope everybody's really having a good day. I'm going to post this video on both of my Adia Rain platforms. And then what I'm going to do is when my daughter gets home, she's gonna help me edit. And once she helps me edit, and it's so nice because she's taking a media class right now. So she's gonna be learning like all this cool stuff. So hopefully she can help me with my videos. Like she even was telling me she's gonna learn how to do like strobe lighting. Oh my gosh, she was telling me like in my videos, she can do parts like, you know how, I don't know if any of you have ever been to a strip club or like a, a club with go-go dancers or whatever. Like when it's that girl's turn to dance, if you're in, if you're working for a good club, if you're working for like a tight knit club and it's an upscale tight knit club, there's usually a phone in the dressing room where you can call the DJ and you can tell the DJ what song you want to dance to and you can even ask him if he can do if you know about the lighting like for me i love strobe lighting because it just slows everything down and makes everything and i like smoke but i like i like strobe lighting the best 
So I would call the DJ, and you know, you got to tip him pretty good and everything. You got to be a good tipper for him to like take these special requests, but you got to tell him like, um, you know, give me, give me some smoke when I crawl to the edge of the stage. Give me, give me a burst of smoke. And then when I'm over here, you know, when I'm doing this by the mirrors, I want the strobe lights or whatever. So my daughter was explaining to me that like she can do all that. Like she's learning how to do all that in media and that she's going to be able to, even with just my simple phone, she said that during my dance, she can do lighting. And I told her, you're kidding me. And she said, no, I, I swear. I think, I think we can do it just on your phone. And so I'm getting really excited about that because I don't want to put too much more money into my um, stuff because, of course, I'm not able to accept money coming in. So I can't really put too much money going out because I'm just living like a normal person or whatever. Um, so if there's a way for her to help me with the media part of it and make it like just nicer and more cool for you guys, like if it's more cool for you, it gives me great ple pleasure. So I want to make it more cool. And so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'm so glad I was able to do this and feel good while I'm doing it. Like I'm having a good day today. I mean, I know I don't look like it, but <laughs> I am. So um, now I'm going to get off of here and take my dogs on a walk and um, update on Showtime. I had told somebody I was going to let you guys see the dogs. Hold on. Let me get them. Delta, Showtime. Come here, buddy. Delta, Showtime. I was talking to somebody on here, and it might have been Alan. Come here. And I said I was going to show my doggos. So here they are. Here's Showtime, Mr. Man, Mr. Napoleon Dynamite. My favorite doggos. And get off my bed. Come on. Showtime. And then this is big old Delta. Delta girl. Delta girl. She loves her backpack. Yes, she loves her backpack. Come on, Showtime, show them what you're all about. Show them what you're working with. <laughs> Showtime, come here, come here. Watch yourself, show them what you're working with. Come here, Showtime. Come here, my love. He's had a hurt foot and this is his one and a half days without antibiotics and they told me that if it swells up again or gets messed up again, that they're gonna have to um, do surgery. And I'm praying to God, to the dear Heavenly Father, because I don't want to get him surgery. Be not just because of the cost of it, but because of the downtime. You know, it's just getting to be winter, and these dogs are red tea. <sighs> these dogs are red tea to get up to the mountains and go hiking. And if he gets this surgery... He's not going to get to go hiking this year because the, the vet already said that it's going to take a long time for the surgery to heal because he's going to basically cut off his entire fifth toe and take out this huge chunk. And I'm like, dude, why? Like, it's not necessary. But it, it looks like it's healing over. And for anybody that has dogs on here, I'm going to tell you how I've been helping him. And it has made the huge difference. And I do honestly believe it's going to save him from getting the surgery because if it, because it's not swelling up, it's healing. So I don't think he's going to get the surgery. But what I did was I gave him Epsom salt baths and he didn't want to go in the bath, but I just filled the bathtub up just enough to cover his fifth toe. And I just held his back and petted him and told him good boy and gave him treats. And I gave him little pieces of dog food and told him, good boy. And he just sat, look at him, and he just sat right there in the tub and let his little footy soak. Let his little footsie soak. And so he really, he really um, did good in there. And those Epsom salt baths helped scab over his sore on his foot. And now I just am hoping that it keeps on its healing process without the antibiotics. So here are the dogs. They're ready to start going hiking as soon as, 
you know, the first rain is when I heard the foxtails are, it's, it's foxtail season will be over. And I did buy them these little hoodies to put on their head. So just to protect their ears from foxtails. Should I show them to you guys? Hold on, let me get them. You guys want to do a little show for them and show them your little hoodies? Who wants to show their, watch out. I don't want the phone to fall. Okay, let's do Delta, because Delta's easier. Come here, Delta. Let's show them your hoodie. I got them these because these were really cheap on Amazon. They were a lot cheaper than buying. Um, let's show them, Delta. Let's show them your hoodie. This protects their ears from foxtails, guys. They just wear this, and they run all around. I don't, and you can tighten them and stuff, and... Leave, leave her hoodie alone, see? And so they can wear these up in the mountains to protect from the foxtails going in their ears. But I just wanna wait till it gets a little cooler. I know it's pretty cool to go now because it's mating season for the tarantulas. So if I started going up there now, I would get a lot of cool like tarantula pics for you guys. But um, the foxtail thing is just too risky. There's a lot of like dry, it's still really dry out there and there's a lot of foxtails and the vet bills are woo out of control. So, you know, coming up here shortly, I'll probably, if I see anything cool out in the desert, I'll definitely share it in the community or maybe have a video or something, but I'm just got to wait for his foot to heal. And then I got to wait for the first autumn rain. And then after the first autumn rain, the foxtails should be chilled out, but I'm still going to put these on them, and then I'm going to start going up there, and maybe it'll still be, I think, all the way through um, October and November is tarantula mating season. So last year, I saw a whole bunch of them, and I don't remember if I posted them on the old channel or not, but it was crazy. <laughs> all right, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.